my fellow Americans, welcome to the inaugural episode of Safe Spaces. This is a great day for America, nay, the world over. I am your host, William Jefferson McClintock. Now, for personal and national security reasons, I cannot divulge on whether I was or was not the 42nd President of the United States. But I'm going to leave that up to you to decide. Now, why was Safe Spaces created? This is the brainchild of a, a burn down session that I had with Jake DeBake. And I like the freedom of the place. You get to say whatever you want. And I have, through my contacts uh, in the Chinese government, uh, funded through the Clinton uh, Initiative, uh, we've, we've created bipartisan legislation to grant blanket immunity to anyone uh, coming on the YouTube channel, Burnt From Birth, um, dignitaries and uh, uh, celebrities, uh, cannot be prosecuted for what they say on Burnt From Birth uh, because this is under a comedic platform. And we chose it specifically because no one really watches it, which is really important because we can clear our consciousness, if you will, uh, and, uh, legitimately, but of course, uh, you know, it really doesn't matter. And one of the greatest things about the American people, and I think their strongest asset, is that they won't remember what they hear one, uh, one day, the very next day. Their memories are extremely short, so it really doesn't matter too much. And that is why we selected Burnt From Birth and its affiliate social media platforms like Facebook, like uh, uh, Clapper and Twitter and uh, Chatterbait and Pornhub. Now, let's get to the point of this show. Very, very simple. Safe Spaces brings two unique concepts together. First of all, honesty and real, real world love advice. I mean, I mean advice you can use, you can apply, grow, and benefit with. And the other thing is, is I would like to divulge a couple of uh, dirty little national secrets. Uh, of course, you, the American people, have been lied to for many, many decades and talked to like as if you don't have fully functional brains. Well. I don't want to go into the next life with that on my conscience, not completely. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about things that you should know that you already know, but we both know that you knew. Okay? And that's important. Let's talk about love. The whole reason we are here is to love. Now, wouldn't you agree with that? Love is like a pile of sugar uh, with... Uh, with, with shit on top of it and then more sugar. And what I mean is, is that sometimes it comes in little black dresses, as it should. But we all know if those dresses have stains on them, then that's an issue. So if the woman that you're trying to bed down does not do her laundry religiously, and I mean every day, that is not a safe space. That is not what you're gonna, you're gonna find that's not gonna blow up in your face. We don't want any, any stains on the dresses, laundry, shirts, but not limited to dresses, skirts, tank tops, and other forms of negligee. The other thing I'd like to talk to you guys about is Pearl Harbor. Now, if you thought there was any way to take the entire Japanese Navy <laughs> and move it from mainland Japan all the way across the Pacific into, into Pearl Harbor, I have a bridge to sell you right up your ass. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it, yeah, radar was in its infancy. Um, that's true. Uh, we weren't completely reliant on that, though. And, of course, if it wasn't for all the, the carnage of Pearl Harbor, we would have never had support for the war, which is a lesson that we took all the way up uh, to, most recently, 9-11. So we're going to talk about all that good shit. If you have any questions or comments, you can drop those down here in the comment section. And I will answer your question on this next episode of Safe Spaces with me, your humble host, William Jefferson. McClintock. Make love, not war, people. We'll see you again real soon.